You know what? You ever heard of Mool? Mool is when a child is born, the father can't see the child. Or else some destruction will happen in family. We heard that. Yeah. And Mool is created during the Garbhadan sanskar. If they, well, think of it this way. If a, if a woman is beaten and harassed and molested during the pregnancy, what kind of child will she have? Versus if a woman is loved and pampered during the pregnancy, what kind of child will she have? See the importance of the governance and scar? It determines how the child will come to you in life. So if a woman is molested and beaten by the husband, obviously she will hate the husband, isn't it? That hate will inculcate itself into the baby. And at that moment in time when the baby is born, the father is not allowed to because if he looks at the baby, he will have an accident, he will die, or he will separate from the, from the mother. There are certain numbers, and we will calculate in a minute, certain birth dates that create that. And you pundits know that because you deal well with that. But there are not only four mool nakshatras, but there are more than that. And then, faced with that now, how do we change it? How do we change? We know, for example, if you look at it, there's a, there was a movie called Shiva Mahima, where the gentleman and his wife knew that the son was going to die at 25. It's called, it's called a mid you, um, um, chakshu or something like that. It's, a, it's not where they knew that they died, as their son was born in the planet that was going to die young. How do you change it? And this is where the rishis taught us this knowledge of Hinduism. In other words, they brought in the devatas. If you know how the universe works, you can change it. And that's why they brought in things like Mool Puja and the devotees worships and so on. And that is where the science came into the world to teach Hinduism to the world. Hinduism is not a religion. It's a way of life. It's a, it's a science that can help you to, just to, to change your life and make it better. We have a great gift of Hinduism. And if we can use it pro pro uh, properly, our life will be different. The Vedas tell you that a man is supposed to live 120 years. And every time he commits certain sins, he reduces that amount. 120 years is known as the, uh, uh, the, 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 the Dasa system, Vishwamutri Dasa system, which is 120 years covers the life of the, of the man. So if you know, for example, right away if your son is going to die at a certain age, you have the power to change that. But that science has been lost, right? You know, you ask someone today, why do we do puja? What is the purpose of puja? And you'll find that you'll not be able to get a good answer. And the reason why is because they don't know. And right now, as some of you here right now do not know why you do puja. To change the future. The purpose of the, of the, of the puja is to change the future. But, what future? Now think of a car, you have many parts, but if one breaks down, the whole car stops. One part breaks down. Transmission breaks down, you have to, it stops. But it's the same thing with our life. We are like that car. We are made up of different parts of life, which is wealth, which is Lakshmi. So if you have money problem, what can Pooja do? Lakshmi. Lakshmi Puja. So if you have husband problem, we're going to Puja? Durga. Sure. Shiva. Sure. The perfect husband, Shiva. You don't just do a Puja because you just want to do a Puja. You do a Puja because that part has broken down and you are fixing that part so that the whole car can work again. So that's the purpose of going to a Jyotishi. The purpose of going to your Guru or your Pandit is to, for the pundit will know what part of your life is affected, which is called a graha. So it can be bad graha or good graha, but a graha determines your life. So now, if you are able to know what's, what's affecting your life, whether it's money, or whether it's marriage, or whether it's love life, or whether it's your children, 
that appropriate puja has been built for that. So that is why our Brahmins are known as Brahmins. Yes. Brahmins that doesn't mean a name, it means the knowledge. Yes. It means that he will know about your life the minute he looks at you. He knows exactly what puja is necessary to, do to, to correct a problem in your life. And so you'll find that people who have money problems will actually puja, people who have children problems will do Durga puja and so on, or a person who have, who have um, a husband problem will do the Shiva puja. The Shiva song says it, Rakkava, Jamele, Sindur, Gaura, Parvati, and so on. And uh, those who have problems with traveling will do Hanuman puja and so on, and, and, and so on. Yet every puja is, uh, is connected with some part of the body. The air is Hanuman. The, 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 the brain is, is like a Saraswati, so you do a Saraswati puja if you have problem with your schooling and so on. So that is the reason for pujas. And these pujas are designed because man will have some kind of a problem, so the rishis have designed this to make sure that they can do the right puja for the right thing. Most of the time we have a car problem, people have a transmission problem and they probably go and fix the engine instead of the transmission. Or they have a radiator problem, they start fixing the gas tank. So the whole idea is, is that it will never work. And how do you know what's going to happen to you? By knowing what you call Jyotish. Jyotish is, means Jyoti and Ish, light of your God, the God within. Why the God within? Why the light of your God? Because if you think of it, we have 108 gods. Do you know we have 108 gods? We have 108 gods in our religion that are sound. And those 108 gods are the 108 elements of the periodic table. Each unique element is a god. And where can we find all of these gods in one place in this world? Within you. Your only, the only thing that has all the elements in the universe is the human body. Okay? So it's very important that you understand that God resides within you. That's why we say Shivoham, Shivoham, Chidananda Rupam, Shivoham, Shivoham. God resides within us. So whatever we do to God, we do to ourselves. So when you think, for example, you're washing the feet of the Murti, who feet are you really washing? your own feet, because God exemplifies itself in you. You have Saraswati, you have Lakshmi, and so on. So when you, when you put same during the Murti, same during prosperity, who are you giving prosperity to? Yeah. Yourself. When you put Mala around the Murti, you're giving protection to yourself. When you, when, you, when you put Chandan, it means knowledge, and, and the mantra says it. Samar Payami. I do it for me, and do it for God. So now, very simple. Whatever you do to God, you do to yourself. So you'll find that people who, who wear, for example, dark clothes will have money problems because why? Lakshmi can't get to them. The light is stopped. If you put a black clothes on the, on, on the, on the, on the window, the light stops. So you'll find in Hinduism, we were told that in the old days never to wear black. Right? That's why you would say, well, people used to say that, but it's not old people, it's in the Vedas. And so you'll find that the black clothes will affect you. And then, and why, you know, if you think of it, why we don't eat red meat? It's because we're eating ourselves, isn't it? Because when you drink milk, you have to care for the cow. So when you, um, when you um, eat, a, eat red meat, you're really eating yourself. Because you, are, you, are, you, are, you have the same meat as the cow and so on. So all is very important. So how do we change ourselves? By understanding our karma, where we come from, why are we here? What the reason for us being here and so on. Now, can you now if you think of it, the ancient sign, there's an ancient mathematics called Vedic mathematics. And this Vedic mathematics is where ori our, our religion originated from. It's called Vedic mathematics. It's also the fastest mathematics you know. It can calculate numbers in seconds. 